Well, there are a couple ways to check if two objects are colliding, but this video will be focusing on the two most popular for 2D collision, AABB and SAT. Axis line bounding box collision detection only works with rectangles that are aligned to the X and Y axes, but it's also very simple. The way to check if two rectangles are colliding with AABB is by performing four different checks that compare the vertices of the two rectangles. If all the checks are true, then the two rectangles are colliding. Collision detection using the separating axis theorem, however, lets you check if two convex shapes are colliding and also allows rotation, but it's also a little more complicated. To check collision with SAT, you first need to find the normals of all the edges on both shapes. Then, for each normal, you need to find the shadows that the two shapes cast. If for every normal the shadows overlap, then the shapes are colliding. Otherwise, they aren't, and the axis that the shadows don't overlap on is the separating axis. Now, for concave shapes, all you need to do is split them up into multiple convex shapes, and then perform the same checks again. Now, let's say you have a convex shape in a circle. How do you check if they're colliding? Well, it's easier than you think. Since a circle has infinite normals, you can't check it like you would with two convex shapes. Instead, you use this axis, which goes from the circle center to the closest point on the polygon. Then, you can perform the checks with SAT as you would normally. But what if you have two circles, though? Well, that's even easier. You just have to check if the distance between the two circles is less than the sum of their radii. Anyway, that's the basics of how AABB and SAT collision work. Hopefully you learned something or understand it a little bit better now, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.